Hey guys, what's up? Rocky Dears here, and today I'll be talking about two filters, and those being grayscale and sepia. Now, if you're a very, uh, if you're passionate about photography, or you're just a, uh, just a guy who just clicks on his, uh, his or uh, her uh, mobile phone pictures and edits them in various, you know, photo editing software available on uh, phones, you'll know what grayscale and sepia mean. So sepia is a brownish tint that you would find to be interesting in certain photos. And grayscale is also very well used. It, it brings out black and white only, black into shades of black and white. So these are pretty helpful in certain uh, instances where you have pictures or where you want to apply these effects for desired results. So I'll quickly show you how to work around with them. So it is similar as usual with our various other filters. What you do is that you refer to the circle or whichever node or whichever element that you are creating over here and then build a cache over here of that element and then refer to the circle and note this down guys for grayscale and for for the other one the uh the sepia you don't have uh, you don't have to pass any other statement other than the two statements that i'm passing over here because grayscale and sepia themselves are functions and they have only one property so you don't have to pass any any further methods or commands so what you do is that you go ahead and give a filters uh, method in which you would fill the filter that you would like to fill so i'll close the bracket over here and then you give convert dot filters with a capital f and a grayscale so let's see what happens all right so as you can see you you see that the color is lost the whole thing has become dead or if you would like to call it has become much more solemn uh, so so what i'm trying to say over here is that it loses its, its color its, uh, its life is gone so uh, i'm someone who thinks that life is all in the colors but if you think otherwise it's it's, it's your own opinion all right so this, similarly we have sepia as well which we can work with so as you can see there is brownish tint over here so this is how you can work with different uh, filters so i'll be closing the filters uh, for now there are many more filters that you can work around with uh, provided by Conojs. you can go ahead and check the uh, doc on uh, filters which i uh, whose link I'll, I'll be putting down below so you can go ahead and check out various filters what are all functions you can tweak around with so go ahead and do that and uh, if it all you're working on js fiddle which i would recommend you to do uh, save your js fiddles and uh, copy the links down below so that i can see them i can comment on them and i'll be more than happy to do that as well as uh, tell your friends about this uh, tutorial series share my videos and subscribe to my channel so that i'll come back with various other fun tutorials for you guys and keep watching to these videos because we are not done with convo js all right thanks a lot for watching bye bye